such a weirdo. Such a weirdo. We're running a dog kennel this week, apparently. <laughs> I have Zoe. There's Zoe, which the boys always chase her around. And this is Pop-Tart. Pop-Tart is like, she don't be playing with these kids. So we got Zoe and Pop-Tart, Doc, and Grumpy. Look, I'm running a dog kennel. Yes, I am. I'm making myself a beef bacon and ground beef power bowl. Uh, we do not have any egg in it today because of the sea lion diet, but should be good. While I'm cooking breakfast, I also decided that I would clean up and put away some of my appliances. bacon. I'm going to cook up some ground beef. I'm going to use this bacon grease. What we need, what we need is our Spatulator. I'm gonna put some salt on this. It's just regular Redmond's real salt. I will say one thing about carnivore cooking. You always have a lot of grease to clean up. A ton of grease. You got bacon grease, you got hamburger grease, you got steak grease. All the different kinds of grease to clean up. All right, my ground beef is done. Very fatty. Top this off with beef bacon. <laughs> Three slices of beef bacon. This is our ground beef and beef bacon power bowl. Delicious. Okay, here's how I'm eating this. Um, I added a, a sprinkling of Redmond's real salt, smoked salt, and then a little bit of mustard and for dipping and this is how I'm going to eat it with a spoon. <laughs> able to pick up a whole chicken for dinner. Steak. Here's the New York strip. It's 14 dollars 
will take a chuck steak. Two chuck steaks. <laughs> Is this chuck eye steak or just chuck steak? Chuck eye steak. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll take I'll just take the two of that are on top. Those are perfect. I'll also take a couple of your um, filet steaks. Um, just the two that are. Well, I'll take the second row. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks. Pretty good deal. Six ounce salmon mignon. That's a good price. Seems like. <laughs> you guys are having a good sale. stopped at the grocery store today and they had chuck eye steaks on sale for $4.99 a pound. So I picked up a couple and I just want to cook uh, one of these up for my dinner tonight along with a salmon medallion. So um, I'm going to season this up and, uh, and, and throw it in the cast iron and then pop it in the oven and I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. Very nice, big old chuck eye steaks here. I'm gonna salt them both, but I'm only gonna cook one of them. Yeah. And salt liberally. My cast iron is on low. I'm just letting it heat up. And then I'm going to put this right on the cast iron. And I'm going to add my meat thermometer. I want this to kind of be like uh, medium rare. I don't want it to be too done. Because I know that um, this kind of steak is a little tougher. So we'll go ahead and just make it to 100 and... 40 degrees for our temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and set that at 140. And as soon as this skillet gets screaming hot, we will add the steaks to it. So the other thing I got is some salmon medallions. I'm gonna salt these also. I'm gonna cook these in the air fryer.
So I wanted to come in today and give you guys an update on my three weeks of sweets free living. Um, it has continued to be challenging. I have had um, some pretty intense mood swings. I'm still continuing to have cravings for sweet things. So um, yesterday I noticed pretty intense cravings for like a diet soda, preferably diet Coke. Um, I have not actually had anything sweet in the past three weeks, but I definitely have felt the cravings for it. Today, I feel like my energy level is pretty good. Um, I, I don't know, I feel pretty good. The best that I've felt since I gave up three sweets three weeks ago today.